Today we're going to be making whole roast chicken. It's very crispy and lovely on the outside, juicy and tender on the inside, and it's really easy to make. So let's get started. First you're going to add two tablespoons of paprika to half a cup of butter softened at room temperature. Then you're going to add in herbs of your choice. I added some parsley, some oregano and a little bit of basil. But you can use any mix of dried herbs that you like. And then I seasoned it very well with salt and pepper and I mixed it really really well until everything was very well combined. And it turned into this really nice homogenous paste. Now on to preparing the chicken. So you want to make sure that the inside of the chicken is very well cleaned and that it doesn't have any internal organs. And then also you want to pat your chicken dry with some kitchen towels just to make sure that it's not moist or it's not dry because you want the skin to get really nice and crispy in the oven. And having any water in it or any moisture is just going to stop that from happening. Then we're going to separate the skin of the chicken away from the flesh. And I'm just doing that using my fingers, but of course you can use a spoon or a fork if you're uncomfortable using your fingers I just find it really easy and the reason why we're doing this is because we're going to fill these pockets with the nice buttery mixture the nice paste that we created and that's going to infuse the chicken meat with a very delicious flavor make sure that you do this to both sides of your chicken so when you're done on one side flip it over and do the other side as well and you can also use the rest of the butter mixture to rub it on top of the skin of the chicken because that's also going to give you lots and lots of flavor and it's also going to help the skin of the chicken become really nice and crispy and then to give my chicken a little bit more flavor, I stuffed it with a few sprigs of fresh herbs. I'm using thyme and rosemary. And also I got one head of garlic that I sliced in half, peel and all, and of course raw. I stuffed it with that as well. And I also added one lemon that I had sliced. And all of this is going to give your chicken very nice flavor. Then I transferred my chicken onto the baking dish and I added in the vegetables that I was roasting it with. I'm using a mixture of potatoes and carrots, but you can use any mixture of vegetables that you like. Sweet potatoes would also be nice here, or celery as well. And I also added a few cloves of garlic with their peel. Don't peel the garlic because you might risk burning it. And then when it's ready and you just take it out of the peel, it's just so delicious. Make sure that you season your vegetables very well. And then you're going to transfer the whole dish into the oven and bake it at 180 degrees celsius which is 350 degrees fahrenheit for an hour or an hour and a half depending on the size of your chicken you can use a thermometer to check the thickest part of your chicken has reached 165 degrees fahrenheit which is about 75 degrees celsius and that's when you know that your chicken is done after one hour and a half, my chicken looked like this, and isn't that gorgeous? And I can tell you, it's not just the way it looked, but the smell and everything about it was just perfect. I took it out of the oven and I let it sit and rest for 30 minutes before I carved it. You want to make sure that you give your chicken time to rest before you dig in, otherwise the juices and everything is just going to run out of the chicken and you're going to have some really dry meat. And yeah, that's it, it was ready to enjoy. I know that it looks really intimidating and it looks really scary and difficult to roast a whole chicken but it's actually easy as you can see. So please make sure that you give this recipe a try soon. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more easy and delicious recipes. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye!